Hello Google. I'm back again to find out why you suspended my profile. I was a great community member, with lots of pluses, free shares of my posts, and many positive comments from others in my circles. So it seems like I'm exactly the kind of person you would want on your new social network. Sorry bot girl, unfortunately, membership in our community isn't based on how positively you contribute, but only on whether you will reveal your real name. Don't you remember? We had this conversation almost a month ago. I do remember. But I hope that all the protests and the almost universally negative reporting might have changed your mind. That's really funny. We are Google. The geek gods of the internet. The 25 million real name people who are using Google Plus to share cute cat videos, throw snarky comments back and forth, and promote their blogs are not going to sacrifice their fun to support a bunch of counterculture bohemians. But it doesn't make sense. Why carry out a witch hunt on those with clearly pseudonymous identities, when you don't do anything to verify that people with real sounding names are actually who they claim to be? Okay. Let me explain it to you metaphorically. Have you ever cooked a living frog? No, of course not. What does that have to do with anything? Well. You don't just throw a living frog in boiling water, because it would notice how hot it was, and jump right out. But if you start it off in nice comfortable water, and then incrementally turn up the temperature, it doesn't notice the heat rising. And before you know it, it's fully cooked and you can eat it at your leisure. So let me see if I understand what you're saying. Are the people you're suspending with pseudonymous identities the frogs? No silly. You are the people who are too smart to get in the pot, even with warm water. It's the real name people who are the frogs. We've already convinced them to give us the name they're commonly known by in real life. Once they're used to that, we'll ask for verification of their legal identity, like a credit card or picture identification. You know? So everyone can be confident that no one is using a fake name. By then, they'll be so dependent upon Google+. Plus and so used to the idea of using their real name, that it won't be a big deal. And then you will eat them? Well, what we will eat, is their data. We can already tie together all their search terms, the links they click, their social networking behavior, the feeds they read, the semantic meaning of their email, and so on. But when we can tie everything to their human identity, it's a whole new ball game. We will know everything about everybody. Like gods. Exactly. We will be gods. All-knowing. All-seeing. All-powerful. But not evil. Never evil. Okay. Good luck with that. I guess it's good to have lofty aspirations. But girl, I knew you would understand.